Welcome to Aerospace Pals review of Altera's design tool version 1.1. Now you can find this uh, power delivery network design tool on Altera's website or uh, if you just search aerospacepal.com for um, PDN um, you'll see the article that comes up here. Just click on the power delivery network analysis uh, article. Uh, you'll see a, a quick link here to the tool in step one of downloading the tool. It'll download as an Excel um, right to your uh, this, the downloads folder or whatever folder you specify. So we'll open up this uh, tool. Altera's tool here is used to achieve a target impedance over all frequencies for your power delivery network. You can easily customize this to your design to come up with an approximation of what kind of impedance you'll have over frequency. This is extremely important because if you have a high impedance at a specific frequency and your integrated circuit is switching at that frequency, you'll essentially have a voltage ripple that can cause EMI and be extremely hard to track down. On this graph, we can see our target frequency in this purple dashed line and our target impedance here in the blue line. The red line shows our approximated or calculated effective impedance over frequency. Down here at the bottom we have a couple of release notes. We have the tab we're on. Uh, the planar capacitance tab uh, shows your stack up essentially. Um, and then we have a, a mounting structure uh, either via on side or via on end as well as um, the final bill of materials summary page. Now here um, if we look at the top we need to set up our our power supply type, uh, they have two options, standard switching and linear regulator. We'll choose switching here. Spreading is just a way to represent the inductance and resistance of the planes and vias in your power delivery system. I usually choose medium. Um, we'll leave calculate for BGA and planar cap. Um, and then just get down to our target impedance. Um, you can also ignore the, the BGA. You can see it does um, some things at higher frequencies. I usually leave both those in. Um, the planar cap here is represented by that line. If you ignore it, obviously, at the higher frequencies, you'll get a little bit different um, impedance curve. Now, down here, just below, we have our target impedance, what we're trying to get to. You can set these things to get your target impedance and your target frequency that you want to achieve. Um, things like your supply voltage, minimum operating voltage, your maximum current draw, and then also uh, like your transient current percentage, how much of your current could possibly switch at the same time. Uh, another thing is your allowable ripple. I typically will choose 2%, not because my system can't handle more than 2%, but just as a uh, EMI consideration. By selecting the target frequency here, you can see it moves that purple line, and that's just an approximation of what you think your highest switching frequency is. Not necessarily a baud rate, but uh, your switching frequencies within your integrated circuits. This target line here, this blue line for target impedance, can move up and down based on these parameters. And you can see that here when I switch the max current. Now going down below, we have all our decoupling capacitors that are going to be on. And this is kind of what we're designing here. Not only the planar uh, capacitance, but the decoupling caps here. Now you can see we have a selection for orientation, whether it be via on side or via on edge. Um, vias on side is what we prefer. It's going to give us our least amount of inductance. Vias on end here um, is also an option. So you can see down below, there's a number of pre-made 201 up to uh, 1206 pre-made selections. These are pretty good. We don't really need to touch these too much unless you want to get real specific. So going back to the decoupling caps, we can add quantities in here for the capacitors that we plan on having. And uh, when you make these selections or changes, you'll see the graph above here change accordingly. So we can just mess around and um, add caps where needed or where we think we need caps. You can see there's a um, a dip here or a um, a spot where we're above the line here so we can make a couple different cap selections right there. Um, we can add caps to try and get our impedance below the line and then keep targeting in 
those points to get below the below the Z target line. And then when we look, okay, we're now below the line, so uh, we feel we can move forward. There's some lower frequency stuff that we probably need to tackle, so um, some bulk capacitance would help in those lower frequencies. You can see when I add uh, one or two of these, it really moves that, that target line down. Looks like two was a little bit excessive, so maybe we'll just stick with one. Um, and then we'll be below the line. So now we go to the planar cap, um, planar capacitance. This is our stack up of our power and ground planes. You can see we have uh, different lengths and widths we can customize it to. Um, if I just choose, let's just say five by seven inches. Um, and actually this is in mils, so it'd be 5,000 and 7,000 here. And then let's just say our metal thickness is one mil. and we have a 3.5 mil height to ground plane. These are just the things you can adjust. You know, it's not going to dynamically adjust this picture, which is fine, but it is going to adjust the um, the values for your planar cap on the front page. You can even select dielectric material to uh, different dielectric, dielectric material if you choose. So now if we go to the front page, we can see that line adjusted pretty significantly um, and that's the effect we'll have at higher frequencies. Now if I just change this to one mil I wouldn't obviously recommend that um, but there you can see the change happening. I'm going to change that back to 3.5 mils. So and then going back, you know, we can customize this if we really need to. Uh, I usually just stay with the standards. And then here's just the summary page with our bomb and targeted impedance. So that wraps up the easy to use awesome tool that Altera has made to design your power delivery network. You can find this at aerospacepal.com as well as other great free content. Come check out the site if you're not here already and tune in for more good stuff.